happens at the helm. What up, all? Darp here from Mindless Productions, continuing Assassin's Creed 4 100% Sync Guide. Alright, so the optional objectives for this mission. One is this first one simple. We're about to do it. Use a mortar to damage the fort. So, obviously that means you need to have the mortar upgraded. Um, or at least, you know, on your ship at all. It isn't there automatically. You do have to actually upgrade to get it. Uh, but it is, doesn't cost a whole lot. And you also probably noticed at the beginning of this video, I had quite a few um, upgrades. Uh, those are mainly preparing for later missions. I highly recommend you go ahead and get them, but you don't necessarily need them right now. The only thing you need this mission is the mortar upgrade. So, uh, this is teaching you how to take on forts, which can be tough. Although this one's not too bad. I mean, being a beginner fort tutorial kind of thing, it's of course not going to be too bad. There's only two two uh, defenses you have to destroy, but basically it's like fighting a boat, except it's not moving. You just attack it with everything you've got, and eventually you'll destroy everything on it and you'll be able to take it over. So yeah, it's just like fighting a ship. The trickiest part is most forts tend to have some kind of defense going, uh, ship-wise. Uh, this one just has the one brig. Uh, I think the medium ones tend to have a frigate around, if not a couple brigs. Um, and then the really hard ones will sometimes have man of wars around them or, you know, whatever. So the easiest thing to do is try and lead the ship away from the fort so you have less to worry about. The fort does have a huge range with its mortars, so be careful of that. Um, but try and lead the ship away from the fort. It just makes life a little bit easier. Keep attacking the fort with the mortar while working on the ship with your broadsides. And then uh, once you take down the ship, your broadsides actually do a lot more damage than your mortar does to uh, the fort defenses. So once the ship is down, go ahead and uh, use your broadsides on the actual fort. And as always, luckily there's a ship here. When you take down a ship, you can board it and use it to heal your ship. Which, as you can see right now, I didn't upgrade... You know, I didn't do enough upgrades to my hull or anything. So my ship is pretty weak. And that leaves me in a tight spot right here. So, as soon as that ship is down, try and make your way back to it, avoiding as much damage as you can. I did kind of go into this a bit recklessly, so... If you're a bit more cautious than I am, you shouldn't have as much trouble. Alright. So, that's pretty much it. I'm going to leave you to enjoy just finishing off the fort and all that. I'll be back in a little bit to explain the second optional objective. So, see you then. No quarter!
Alright, and I'm back. So, once the fort is destroyed, you just sail over to it and dock. And then you have this little sort of mini game thing you gotta do. You run in, find however many officers. Um, obviously, the higher the difficulty, the more officers you'll have to find. For this, I believe it's just the one officer. So, we're just gonna hunt him down. Now, your second optional objective is to kill the officer with a running assassination. That is really pretty easy. There's a lot of fighting going on. So there's a lot of uh, distractions. You should be able to get pretty close to him without too much worry. So, uh, best strategy for here, just to avoid all the other fighting, is to try and stick to the rooftops. Uh, this time the officer's pretty close by, but for future forts, uh, it's best to stay to the rooftops just to avoid all the fighting. So you can just take down your officers when you need to. So just chase this guy. He's not very quick, so... Boom, down he goes. Once he's down, you just gotta reach the war room, and you're done. So, that's 100%. As always, questions, comments, concerns, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Peace out, y'all.